Hello everyone, what is up? This is Stuart98 and welcome back to another Aramet game. This was a game spectated and sent in by both Makuo and Lay Assassin on duel between the green player in the upper left hand corner, Rex in a Raven Striker. Raven, a uh, pilot that you don't see because big speed boost but huge, huge deep up to carry mass so you can't carry much. And the blue player in the bottom right hand corner, B-Boy Deo in a Gabe Neo. Gabe being, looks like, um, that's, that's Beppo. B-Boy Deo going with the Seeker drops early on. I mean, not Seeker, uh, Sentry drops. Sentry turrets. Uh, a sentry turret cannot kill a creep, however, that's, that's kind of pathetic. In the meantime, Rex over here is going with a more traditional opening, taking out the goliath and the tanks. Dibuideo going down to about 30% health, but not really, and a huge amount of danger of dying. However, uh, Rex needs to focus on capturing, recapturing his outpost, and he has. The danger there is over for the most part. B-Boy Deo down here looking to kill something is going to be able to kill that ratchet. Does decide to retreat from there. Spamming a lot of rebels. Um, B-Boy Deo's got bot spawners and he has no Longhorns or Gemini in his loadout. He does have Dillos, but Dillos kind of unorthodox. Um, you don't see them. <laughs> nearly as much as Longhorns right now. It's kind of been the case since the Dillos lost their armor bonus. Um, made them less like other tanks. Bebo Deo uh, was going for the kill there on a tank. Now... Okay. Um, looking at Guffkeep, it is 2020. Uh, Bebo Deo is now here with these um, rebels, however, they're not all in uh, in a good place. People are now dropping a Dillo, but I don't know that that will be much. Um, setting all those rebels off, I guess on why? I, that's that that's kind of an odd choice. Um, these rebels are probably going to get stopped by the light mine. Uh, I think one might have been, or maybe that was Rex just rock walking over it. So that has not worked out well for B-Boy Dale. There, the, it's now they're now eight upkeep behind, and if you look at how much money Rex has in the bank, they're behind by even more. Not a good spot to be in for B-Boy Dale. Almost going down there um, is going to be able to get away from Rex though, but that's very very close. Um, Rex sitting with 29k in the bank for some reason. I guess he wants to capture this outpost before he builds anything else more. I don't know. Um, Bibodeo setting at another rebel push. However, Rex is able to eat it alive with his striker sword. In this striker meta, you do not spam your, you do not build uh, low health units because the striker comes in and is like, yo, do you think that there's strength in numbers? You're wrong. And it, it just spams that samurai sword, and uh, the the rebels are kind of screwed there. Um, Dubo Deo not halting rebel production, and they've got a nice solid stream of infantry coming out of these bot spawners. However, they're the level one infantry, which means that they're good for nothing other than a distraction. That seeker does go down though to this push of like two or three dillos. Dubo Deo go going down there unable to successfully get away and those dillos are dead it's now 1830 and Rex still has a lot of cash in the bank well now they don't think it now they've increased it so that it's 34 to 19 so I find it interesting just looking at the flares these players are using. Rex um, sporting their tournament cup that they uh, were carried to get, <laughs> along with two competitors' badges, and B-Boy Deo going with the three competitors' badges. B-Boy Deo faring some more creeps over to this outpost. Looks like they're going for 
Uh, well, they're not going for anything now because of that veil, utterly. Um, but they got a creep kill, so that's something. Uh, they might even get two, three, three creep kills. Amazing. And now they're running back. Lots and lots of rebels. That is a lot of rebels. Twenty-six rebels. That's that's kind of the norm right now. And they are building this V path to Rex's fortress. Oh my. And they just turned on radar. However, there are Beppo Neo, they're very slow. Oh, and oh my. They not only managed to survive, but they managed to um, successfully grab that box. So, impressive. Most impressive. Actually, not particularly impressive. Rebels now pushing through here. The the neutral goalie and Longhorn are here, so they will get minimal resistance, but it's not a whole lot. Other rebels pushing in through here. However, uh, Beepoy Deo's got a big, big push here, including the Goliath. That's that could be devastating. And these rebels have been switched to T for some reason. So B-Boy Deo now is good for map control, but they've got to kill this push off, and I don't know how they're going to do it. That Tesla uh, might be fine for a start, however, it can't seriously threaten the push. There's lots, well actually there's not much in the way of Seekers. Uh, B-Boy Deo as a, as a Beppo Neo it, with Blaster Guardians is able to do a lot of damage, but still. Uh, and now Rex is here. Okay, it looks like they have managed, however, to um, defend from this. I don't see how this ends up killing him now. There's too much dead stuff. Bordeo now taking out the Goliath, and the danger is over, and they have now have control of, well, you can see it right there. Not looking good for Rex right now. That was an utterly failed push. They, I think the failure was not enough AA, but even now their AA isn't going to save them, because B-Boy Deo is now level 7, they have the, the missile redirect. So basically, they're immune to Rex's Seekers. Worse than immune, because now the the way Missile Redirect works is that the they're going to um, make the Seekers a uh, liability for Rex. Rex almost going down there, however, does manage to get away, and is now pushing out with a bunch of Goliaths. They also have Gaddies, but Gaddies are not all that effective of a weapon against the Ra. <laughs> uh oh. That almost ended badly. B-Boy Deo now trying to go with the outpost domination. Uh, th this is, um... Th like, I feel like there should be a meme with the ancient aliens guy in Rebels or something. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, Gaddy. Not all that effective against the Rebels. Because the Rebels have 65 armor and the Gaddy has, like, one piercing, so... Not, not a great tool. The, the Rebels are not a light unit. They're a cheap unit. They're a low damage, well, low piercing unit. But they're not a light unit. They've got 65 armor. That's that's not easy to, to um, kill with an anti-light weapon like a Gaddy. Gaddy's great against infantry, great against jokers, great against zippers. Against Rebels, it's, um, eh. I think T-45 is the turret to use against Rebels, or T-99. T-99 actually probably works best, however, it takes way too long to build. Um, upkeep is evened out. It's 33-32, however, um, B-Boy Dale has map control that... I think that they're in a period of what I'd call increasing advantage. The rough keep advantage is going to what? Uh, never mind. 
Okay, to be honest, that's kind of something that shouldn't be a thing. I don't know why those random mines are there. That that really sucks, but um, those rebels would have all died <laughs> anyway. I don't think that that mattered, the, the mines right there, because there's all these gaddies, and those rebels were going to die, because uh, B-Boy Deo wasn't really going to... Well, I don't see how, like, eight rebels can defeat four gaddies and Rex. Rex now has six Goliaths. Um, what's that? That's B Boy Deo trying to kill a Goliath, I guess. Something, something. It's not very effective. Yeah. Look at these brutes in the important outposts. The one does not simply capture the this outpost or this outpost because there's there's brutes. And. Uh, Brutes are not an easy thing to deal with. People today are taking out a gaddy or two. So it's now 42-49. But what can B Boy Deo finish out the game with? There's well, over here there's only one gaddy, but it it won't take Rex too long to ferry more gaddies over. I mean they have the afterburners. They are Raven, but the I don't think that the carry mass debuff hurts their carry speed too much, um, unless they're near the cap, and the gaddy isn't that heavy, I don't think. So, 29 rebels for B-Boy Deo coming on out, well, out or coming out, now 34, 34, 34 total, 2 on the way, yeah. Um, lots of rebels. How rebellious. It's kind of ironic how the rebels are... ...are now the mainstream unit. The... Be rebellious. Don't take rebel. That's, that's the state of the game right now. Uh, the Rex just grabbing all these boxes. Why? Because they can, and they they don't have anything better to spend their money on other than like I guess they could. Oh no, the Bordeo stole the boxes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was silly. Now Rex is going to be able to take out some of these um, uh, rebels. However, uh, unfortunately, their energy was too depleted by the time that they got there for them to be able to really use the sword and shield to much effect. They're upkeep capped. They need to figure out what they're going to do fast. Coming out with the bomb. Yeah, interesting, they turned auto deploy off there to, to get the bomb out. Yeah, it's cool that there's a hotkey to do that now. Um, other than bombs and boosters, I don't know that there is much in the way of application for it, but it's a thing. I guess Rex is just getting the scout out now. Uh, um... I think B Boy Dale is going to continue until they hit the wrap keep cap. But they're they're going to get a box. Is Rex Okay. Uh did did B Boy Dale scout that? Uh Rex going in with the goalie drop. Oh, there's our <laughs> rebel hit in there. Nice. That's a great spot. I think that's just auto deployed. So this goalie should bring B Boy Dale's fort health to about like 50%. Say that's like 52, so. 50. Yeah. Uh. It'll get a 
couple more shots in before it dies. That's unfortunate. Um, Bebo Deo's got eight spot spawners on the field, and they're pushing out with everything they've got. However, none of it is hitting the corners, and the fort has like, um, like 80 armor or something. Or I think it might be even higher. So these rebels are they're they're tickling it. And uh vigorous tickling might be harmful, however, the there's much worse there's much more painful things than that. So that's uh Rex's fort just got a paper cut from all those rebel bullets. So and now Rex is trying to regain the lost ground with these goalies. They are on T. I don't know why they would not be. Oh, that's cute. There's a sentry. Uh, now there's not. Yeah, I don't. Thievo Deo, no way to defend against this. And oh no, a seeker was in their mix, so these rebels aren't moving at max speed. And Rex has plenty of time to, to redeploy stuff. That rebel is going to get some nice corner damage on, however, it's not going to be enough. Neither of these rebels. Rex is here, he's got the striker samurai sword. Um, he can eat all these rebels for breakfast, no problem, as he just had. Uh, that soldier's coming in, and that soldier is dead. 4035, and look how much money Rex has in the bank. Rex, uh, they should have stayed and killed that boss man, I think. I don't know. I don't have a tournament cup, so maybe I shouldn't be talking. On the other hand, I'm still not sure how Rex has a tournament cup, but whatevs. Rex now co coming out with a standard composition, Ratchet Seeker Goalie. In the meantime, oh look, it's a crap ton of Dillos, along with two Seekers. Using the missiles to just pick off one Rebel isn't a terribly efficient thing to do. Especially because Rex has now got level 3 missiles. At least I assume he does. This is a bug. This is a bug. There should be a, um, a bar, like right here or right here, that says how many points they put into the upgrade. However, that, that bar is above the position of, of these icons. So you can't see that for the topmost player, which means that in 1v1 you can't see it for anyone. And that's a bug. Cabron, flix. Flizz. Deo pushing out now. Or... Not pushing out, just pushing forward. To their, uh, forwardmost outpost. Rex positioning some gaddies of his own in anticipation of some stuff. However, all there is is some some rebels. There's bits. That's nothing. That's that's rebels. Uh easy money. That's a phrase that comes to mind. However, Bipodeo has successfully recaptured this outpost. But for how long? Oh, look, it's a bunch of Goliaths! I don't know how Bibodeo um, counters this. If you look at their bank, they, they do have a nice amount of money in the bank. However, I don't think that it's enough. They they don't have any other units. They don't have anything here. They've got the... Oh, oh my, they've got two rebels. And now they've got their own corpse. Or rather, they don't. They're, they're dead. They don't have anything. Other than those two rebels, well, oh, oh, now it's five rebels, six rebels. This, this will totally stop like seven goalies. 
Oh, it actually is seven bullies. That that one of the front should be dead, but the it's going to be extremely tough for B-Boy Deo to to kill all of them, and they need to kill all of them. Rex is now uh, bearing. Um, they very. I think they buried another up. They definitely um, you position these. B-Boy Deo has no way to deal with this. This game is over. Um, Congratulations to Rex for a very well fought win there. Very interesting game. Thank you both Makuo and Lay Assassin for sending this game in. It was very fun to watch and to cast. Um, send in your epic games. This is Stuart98, and I'll see you in the next video.